we are going to talk about the real zeros of a function. The real zeros of a function occur when the graph crosses the x-axis, or when y is equal to zero, or the function is equal to zero. I have the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. In order to find the zeros of this function, I will let the function equal zero. And I will solve this equation. Let's get to work. This is a quadratic equation, so I will solve this by factoring. I will have zero equals x minus three times x minus one. I will now use the zero product property I will solve each of these equations. The real zeros of this function are 3 and 1. When I graphed this function, I do notice that it has an x-intercept at 1 and it has an x-intercept at 3. These are the points 1, 0 and 3, 0. So I have two x-intercepts, which means I have two real zeros. How many zeros do we have in this function? It looks like it touches or crosses the x-axis three times. There are three x-intercepts, or we could say this function has three real zeros. And what about this function? It touches or crosses the x-axis in two places. So yes, I have two x-intercepts. This is when y is equal to zero, or the function is equal to zero. Well, if I have two x-intercepts, this is the same as saying that my function has two real zeros. This graph has one, two, three, four x-intercepts. So this function has four real zeros. Let's do one more. Find the zeros of this function. This function never touches or crosses the x-axis. There are no x-intercepts. Therefore, there are no real zeros.